Future Crusaders. My name is Henry Conover, and today I'm doing a general conf- I'm talking about a general conference talk by um, Dieter F. Uchtdorf, um, and it's called Your Great Adventure. Um, so the first thing that he's talking about is a hobbit. Um, a hobbit, it's like, a, I don't know, I looked at the definition. Um, it says a member of an imaginary race similar to humans of a small size and with hairy feet. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, anyway, so it talks about how he and this hobbit, um, like, loves adventure. And most don't, like, most hobbits, like, do not like adventure. But he loves it. And so, um, he, at the, the he says, um, Ictor says, <laughs> um, and yet the call to adventure has reached deep into his heart. And so, um, this unmarkable hobbit, leaves comfort behind and enters the path to a great adventure that will um, take t- um, take him all the way um, to there and back again um, and then he s- and then he um, says perhaps one of the um, reasons this story um, re- re- resonates <laughs> with so many is because it is um, our story too um, and then he says, long, long ago, even before we were born, in an, um, in an age <laughs> dimmed by um, time and clouded from memory, we um, too were invited to um, embark, <laughs> embark <laughs> on, the, on an adventure. Um, it was, um, su- um, it was proposed, proposed <laughs> by God and Heavenly Father. Accepting this adventure would mean um, leaving our, the comfort and security of um, his presence. Um, it would mean coming to earth for a journey filled with unknown danger and trial. And then it says, and, and then like in another sentence, he says, we knew it would not be easy. Um, so we, that, what he's talking about right now is earth. And before in the in our um, in heaven, he's talking about how we like said we were gonna come down to this earth, and we um and we wanted to come down to this earth, and so he said that um we are going on this great adventure, <laughs> um and then he says, but we also knew that when we would gain um precious treasures, including a physical body, and exp- experiencing the um, tense joys of, and sorrows of mortality, we would um, learn to survive, um, to strive, to seek, and to struggle. We would discover truths, God and ourselves, um, about God and ourselves. So um, I like how he says we'll, um, we'll gain precious things. And, um, like I, cause like I feel like that, sh- that we gained so much, you know. Like we got a physical body, um, we got to experience joy, and like you know, I don't know. And then he says, and then um, we would learn to strive, to seek, um, and to struggle. But um, and then he says, yeah, um, and I think that's so cool, cause like we, he did not, we, he did not send us down here to just like live our life, you know, like woo, let's go to parties and stuff, you know. Like, we had, we had to struggle. We had to um, seek, you know. We had to, like, we had to, we have to do the work, you know. We cannot just, like, go and, like, you know. We have to have trials and stuff. Um, and then he says, of course we knew and we would make um, many mistakes along the way. And then, um, sorry, but we also had a promise that um, because of the great um, sac sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we would be cleaned um, of our transgressions and refined and purified in our spirits. And one day, um, reduce, we would live with, um, (laughs) okay. Anyways, um, so he said, and so what I thought about that is like, no one is perfect. Um, and everyone, everyone is like, no one is perfect, you know, except Jesus Christ. And we, and that, he knows that we're not going to be perfect ever. You know, no one's going to ever be perfect. But we can, like, try to, like, strive to become like him and try to, like, act, like, try to be more like him. Um, and we're not going to get perfect. We're not going to be perfect. But we, we can strive to be more like him. Um, sorry, okay. Then the, it says, like, this one's talking about the call to adventure. Um, and, and yet more, um, mortal life has a way of them distracting us, doesn't it? Um, we tend to lose sight of our great um, quest, per, um, prefer, preferring comfort and, and ease over growth and progress. Um, 
So we can't fall off the path of righteousness. Like, you know, like we all came down here, even though we can't remember, we all came down here and we, for a reason, we all come, came down here to like, to be tested and stuff. You know, yes, we might not remember it, but we need to like, you know, um, and so we cannot fall off the path. That is like, what's so sad to me, I feel like, because people like can be so strong in the church. There's many people in the Book of Mormon that, um, that have been so strong in the church, church and like Christ has like, they've had visions and stuff and like they've, you know, but then they just like this one little thing just makes them fall off the path. And it is actually, it's so sad to me to see that because it's like, I don't know. It's just like they have all of this and they just get, and then it just, they just fall off the path. But anyways, um, then it says, okay. And then it starts talking about, um, in, um, wait, incline your um, heart to God. Um, so it says first we, you need to choose to, um, incline your heart to God. Um, strive each day to find him, learn to love him and um, then let the, that love inspire you and understand that follow and follow his teachings and keep um, and learn to keep God's commandments. Um, so we need to, we need to like follow Christ. We need to, you know, we need to do the things that he is. We need to follow his commandments. You know, we need to do the things that he's given us because he's given, that's what, what I thought about that is like, he's given us like tools, you know, like little things to help us being like, you know, don't fall off the path. <laughs> but, um, you know, he's just like, he's given us things that I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but like, um. How do I say this? <laughs> but he's given us little things to like not to like make sure to go on the right path and like you know. Um, anyways, and then <laughs> um, he says, even when you fa um, fail, you can choose um, not to give up, but rather um, discover your courage, press forward, and rise up. That is the great um, test of the journey. So what? Um, so what I like thought about when I read that. Um, it, so my sister and my sister and me, Alexa, um, we were out in the ocean and she had like this um, waterproof case and like went around her neck or whatever. And then she also had goggles and um, she had them both on her neck. I know, I think she was holding them. Yeah, she was holding them. And we go over this big wave and we've already gone over like a few waves, but she went, we went over this um, big wave and she like just felt like, she, like after, she just didn't feel, feel them. She like felt like going down her leg, her, her phone, going down her leg. And so then she just like got super scared and like started panicking. And then um, she was like, I can't tell my parents because they warned me. And she's like, but then she's like, no, I need to tell my, like, I need to tell my dad. So then she like yells over to my dad and she's like, come on. She's like, dad, I need your help. And then, um, so then me and my dad and Alexa were all like looking for the phone. And right away, like I said a prayer and I was like, okay, if, if we're not supposed to find this for some reason, like if this if this is supposed to help someone or something, fine, you know, like let that happen, okay. But if this, if you know, like this is just a, a trial to test our faith or whatever, or like just, you know, if if it's just like lo got lost, please help us find it. And then, um, and then while I was over there, my Alexa was um, saying a prayer and she's like started saying her prayer and then she's like felt right away that she was going to find the phone. And she was like, I probably am not going to be able to find, um, the goggles, but I know for, like, I just, she just knew that she was going to be able to find the phone. Um, and then, like, right after she was done her prayer, my dad found it, so that's fun. <laughs> but, um, I think that those little things are just so amazing because I feel like, like, those are the things that strengthen our faith so much. Like, the big things, yes, they do strengthen our faith. But even the, the small little things, like I was bearing my testimony about this, like um, I can't remember when, but like a, a week or two ago, but like, it's just so like, I love, you know, the small things just, I don't know, take this for granted, I guess. <laughs> but, um, okay, now it says, um, now it's talking about to reach out in lo um, love to others. So he says, to help others um, is the path of discipleship, faith, hope, love, compassion, and service, um, to refine us as disciples. So, um, I think that we just need to like love one another and stuff. And like my, um, my young woman's teacher, 
she said today, she was like, we were talking about, um, I can't remember what we were talking about. Um, but she said we, uh, oh yeah, commandments. And she said, she was like, um, to love one another. And she was like, you know, it's not going to hurt you. You know, like, you're not going to regret helping someone. Like, helping your brother pick up, up some toys. I don't know. Um, it's not going to help. Like, it's, you're not going to regret that. But if you don't do it, you most likely are going to regret it. You know, like, you just do it. You know, it's not going to, you're not, it's, you're not going to get hurt by it or anything. You know, it just, it's going to help them and you. It's going to strengthen your testimony, you know. Um, anyways. And then um, it says, true disciples of Jesus Christ love God and his children without ex expectation of something in return. So um, I actually really like that because I feel like I sometimes do this. Um, like I do something like really nice to this person or something. Or like I help my, or like I like help my mom babysit or something, you know. Or I do something nice. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then she like, and then she and then I'm like, so mom, what, can I have this now? Because I did that, you know? And, I f and my mom's like, I don't, you know, you should just do it in love. And um, I actually really like that because, like, yeah, don't expect, like, you're going to get something in return. Like, don't ex don't think, okay, I helped my little brother pick up his toys. Now can I have some ice cream? You know, just, like, I just don't, just do it out of love. Um, and then he says, he's talking about sharing your story. And, um... The third, I mean, then he says, the third thing we um, strive to master in this journey is to take upon our um, ourselves the name of Jesus Christ and not um, be ashamed of being a, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, I actually, that is really cool to me because I feel like most people, I mean, a lot of my friends and stuff and like, um, or just like people, teenagers most of the time, <laughs> um, we just like, you know, we don't want, like, our friends knowing we're members or whatever. Or, like, um, you know, just, like, little people, you know, little things that, like, they're, like, they say something about our church and they're, like, oh, yeah. Like, you know, be, stand up for your church, you know. Like, it, don't be ashamed of it. And, like, I, did, I actually really like that. Um, and then he says, sometimes your stories make people laugh. Sometimes they bring them to tears. Sometimes they um, will uh, help people to continue to... Um, and patience, and pr um, <laughs> um, and courage to um to face another um hour uh, of other uh, another day and come a little closer to God. Share your experience in person on social media in groups everywhere. Um, so like I I don't know if you guys have watched this, but this one what made me think about it of um I still believe how you guys ever heard of that it's like it's based on a true story um but this girl like um she like like uh, this they get married and this um the de the um husband he like goes and he's like a famous singer he like became a famous singer and stuff and um and then she dies and she's like if one life's changed by what i go through it'll all be worth it um, because she had cancer, and, um, so then he goes on and t tells her story, and I feel like, and that just, like, I feel like it changed so much people's life, and, um, I just loved how she said that, if, if it, one life changed by what I go through, it'll all be worth it, and I feel like that's, like, Christ, like, he was, like, you know, I, like, you know, I, it's just one life, just one life, he knew that probably, you know, he knew just all of our lives would be changed, but if one, just one life changed, you know, he, I just feel like he, that's just so, like, awesome of him <laughs> to do that for us, to repent for our sins. Um, and then he says, join with us <laughs> and you will make us better. And in progress, you will become better as well. Let's um, take this um, adventure together. <laughs> and then he starts talking about, um, when should I start? Um, when our um, friend, the um, hobbit, you know, felt um, the calling to adventure stir with him um, with him he decided to get a um, good night's rest enjoy a healthy breath um, a, a hearty breakfast and start out um, f um first thing in the morning um when awoken um he noticed um his house was a mess and he was almost um distracted from um, his his no um, noble plan but then um, his friend 
came and asked, um, wh whenever are you going to come to catch up um, with his friends? Um, he had to decide for himself what to do. So um, I feel like that's like, like um, on the path, you know, like there's little, he's like, he's so ready to go and he's so ready to go to his venture. And, but then he sees his house and he's like, oh my gosh, this is a mess, you know? And like, um, but I feel like, you know, just keep on going when you're on the path of righteousness and you need to just keep on going. You can't get distracted by the worldly, worldly things. You just have to keep on going or else you will probably end up st stopping and, you know, just maybe even staying there. And, um, yeah, so just keep on going. Um, sorry. Okay, I'm going to go on. <laughs> um, then he says, um, to those who have left the path, please come back. Join um, again with us. Make um, us stronger. Um, and, again, like, just that's just, uh, like, telling telling me, like, don't don't leave the path. You know, there, the path, he made us, you know, like, he wants us to be on that path. He loves us. And he doesn't want us to fall out, you know. Um, and then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. But I just, I really like this talk because it just, like, showed me, like, our great adventure. Um, it's just, you know, I just, I don't know. <laughs> But um, it's just like our great adventure. We need to stay on the path. You know, Christ is loving, loves us. And he wants every single one of his kids to, his children to um, make it back to him. He loves us so much. You can't, you know. Um, but just stay on the path and you will, you will um, give back to Heavenly Father. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>